until they receive power. So the disciples are scattered to say, Jerusalem, remember that Christ better to crucify it. So in the end of life, even themselves were in danger to be crucified. Because in the end of life, anything that has to do with Christianity remained there. But they remained in Jerusalem. So Jeremiah and the Messiah's good. This gospel is for the kingdom. That is why we are going to talk about apostle. We are preach about the Bible. So we are was to You are in danger. Don't be too blessed about this truth. Don't be too blessed about this gospel. So we have a problem about Christianity because we must see Tony Lennon. We, we become so excited, but in King I still excited to when I came right. So, so Uma who pressed the cinema from the cinema for three and a half years, they were excited to, to pass the message, but the problem was that they were controlled by excitement, but not the spirit. So as a church pastor, see a all these sermons of Swazwil, who made a sass would we spread them. Don't be controlled by excitement, but the spirit. That is why they had to remain in Jerusalem until they receive the power. So, over the phone, that John chapter 20, we will read a few verses. From verse 1. Uh, in my version, it's early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the effort. So she came running to Simon Peter and other disciples, the one Jesus loved and said, they have taken the Lord out of the tomb and we don't know where they have put him. Verse 3. So Peter and the other disciples started to the tomb. Both, both were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He, he bent over and looked and the strips of linen lying there, but did not go in. Amen. Here, Umer Magdalene, we are good good and good normal. Who just promised us we would undertake the things of war. So we may not give a tune and young child. We would move to give and the So then the Bible continues by saying, "The second, who may have a hand, but who invite a man? Our food is very just good to be happy now. But before our invite, who is more the senior king or elder? The elite, the social. So as a man, there is." Let's 
the Bible, the first disciple saw a linen. Basically, to Simon Peter saw a linen and a handkerchief. Oh, my best born and listen to my man and I'm back to Babu and I went out, but they saw different things. Oh, my God, I'm here. Who's of Babu and what was your motive? Your super car, who's that? Oh, Jesus.
Stored is that was stored outside the home. Balange in a pallet, my boy in So linen and a handkerchief. Then verse 10 says, Then we stood outside and wept. Then he entered the tomb. Because Uma is to the car of Benin on the A1, which I want to see Jesus. So, Bazalana was a Suga no Suga corner. Who's the Lapu figure? Uma at those of one who's on the pallet. Then the Bible says, He entered the tomb and cried. Little Bible, you may cry. But he may saw a different thing. So who must go in my car? spread the gospel? Who are the man of the that? Because we have a problem. We have a hand to have a hand to be a Isn't the end ground of the battle that? More than the man of the soul. But I'm not part of the soul. Then the Bible says, who are the man of the father take care of? Because the person said, you must refuse to live in the presence of the Lord. Who are the man of the soul? But the woman get her father and saw two angels. Um, then the Bible says she turned around. We need to turn around and focus on the leaders. And he saw what to make the reality happen. He, he, she thought the gate keep. We are both good. Then we are going to know. I know this voice. But we have a problem that if it is a good thing, if it is a good if it is a good thing, about what we have a good thing, what we have a Bible, then what we have a good thing, then the Bible says, what to go and tell them, what you have a good thing, but you have a good thing, but you have a good thing, but you have a good thing, Three people, bank and end the father, but they went there with different costumes. Mm -hmm. The first two saw linen and handkerchief. They went to the disciples and told them, put inside the tomb, there's a handkerchief and a linen. Then we may remember who is over there, put him on the I saw Jesus. Mm -hmm. But in Funabata was a fan and no man, but we saw and met Jesus. Amen. Amen. Because if I'm going to go to the land, if I can see it in the land, as for Cassandra in a season, those who saw the land, that's a way of a cup, they will make a good idea. I have to go to the second way. Because in the land, I didn't have any. But I'm not going to go to the land, just wait to go to the land. That's what I'm going to go to the land. Yeah. <laughs>
Then the Bible says, we know the story, and lit one day he came to his senses. He saw part of Egypt. I swear that in my senses, he was allowed to see the same Utu house, I am my power. Uti, chapter six, verse one. Uti, come, let us return to the Lord. No matter the two shall and the other, He will fight us. No matter two school is scattered in the other, He will heal us. Uti, after two days, He will revive us. But on the third day, we are going to be present. So there are those who are already equipped. Let us go to the world. But those of us are using, let us come back to the fire. Since we're told that equipment and so let us show us with your intestines, I even in light to make a good. Then the Bible says, Uma in your dad, see, we let my senses are Yaham, Kumbula, Umiham, but he went to a fuck hand. And I discovered that fuck hand is not measured by distance. Some of us are here, but not here. Fuck hand is not measured by distance. Uma e hamba be mena hamba mama kat because when he lack it, a hamba he le. Uma say mu ya mu ya ne inkwe ya migini. We left the church. See no na zoni ne zitezi. But uma say mu ya kebe zavuti. But one thing he did under the lego, I discarded jam which he went to a fuck. But if I pay, uma say that lego was over the trip in the citizenship at all. But he remembered umu che ka. There is no other way as well as beauty. I went for all of these things. Yellow Tatil, and a seven day now. Surely he will not last without my presence. Ever so that you should not tighten any gospel. You are fully back and up. You will not last. Ubona se ngati ngurma na befundi sna batal abasi kenis. Ubona se ngati ukuholo kola uman. You will never last. Uma mungu tu suma be present and last. Uma say if you lay on the yard, you say I'm poor. Uma I'm poor. Man is cutting ham, why ham a woman? Uma say we will say a car. But in any time, what if Uma is bad? What if Luda came to Luda? What if you can't fly? Just the car. If you can't run, just walk. If you can't walk, just crawl. As long as you are moving forward. Ever so long. Then the Bible says, Uma from a distance, then the father noticed that that is my son. But if we are sad, as we should really say, we can But the moment you turn around, you feel you must have been torn. Let it be said, seek ye the kingdom of all things. Seek first the kingdom of heaven. Go on, get the kingdom of God. But if the sooner the kingdom is in your life, sing and talk. Umu te fige la na papi le kane ta na sebent. Umi ma na selim ta na zele se tolum sebent. Se volum sebent zoom mane mu ka mi ga zoom sebent. From a distance, the father noticed the son. Te pa pe lu a kichi ma ma mu. According to the Jews, one the old man was most supposed to run. But to ba ba wa ti i catch i pa le di lu fulu ta le ni an. Our God was not was not supposed to be incarnated. But one day, I'm going to go there so that we can also sing. I'm going to go to one day, but I'm going to go there so that we can also sing. I'm going to go there so that we can also sing. I'm going to go there so that we can also sing. For the sake of his life, to our past. Little bad baby, who baba, hey baba, in your town. Man is cut, hey baba, why little, why am I? Man is cut a kitchen, man. Waba expose kwa bona kala unga patwa so that is ukabarisha umu na mbuta na ya. On the cross, our Christ was naked so that mina na wana msha jisuzo kwa wamasu. But hai wana 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 masu kezu mekasu mbuya. Amen. 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 Amen
Professor Naikan. My focus is on the other then my question is, how do you know that in a fact that you spend money with the hand of a That is why I said to you, fuck hand is not measured by distance. The other brother was at home but at the fuck hand. So when I said that says you to send you a party, but it's been about a party and about a party. Come, let us return to the Lord. It's a five day woman daughter, said Chatura Mutan, Yasal, Guba, my father knew me. But the older brother left the house. And we found out that the family now opened a stroller for me to happen here. So some of us are here but not here. And Uma Bubu Abad Abala Feri Yida Kona Nat the so was with his squad of Spartan Kuluku. Good Patisia Mans don't want to be safe with any other Kuku Raja. I need to turn around Kuluku and made up. So Bazala never said about I see the name of the Christiana. Sing I've been able to be older. It is no good older brother, he has to go to me for country with another one. Why is why the research? Who would you follow up with Pilar and Jamie? But I am Louis Savon with him. Why is it to lose what we are for the old man? How many of us here? I have to go to my father to my father. But I stand up. Who is the one 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 who is the Eu vou fazer o que eu quero. Eu vou fazer o que eu quero. Eu vou fazer o que eu quero. Eu vou fazer o Abasubu, <laughs> You know, even if it's not as pretty, there was a preacher that content to sit down. Amen? The young man was praising. Um, this range, praise the king. Can you give us three songs? First time we will be standing, we'll be taking the podium after the three songs. This range, praise the king. The first song is for the offering. That is the offering. Sabah School of Life. This is Pumla.
Our time is very limited, but all that has been done prior to this has been very exciting. We are standing in front of you just to go over what we need to go over. Under the theme, I will go. But we just want to paint a picture of the person on whose behalf you are going. 
Amen. We want to paint a picture of this person who has asked us and our response is I will go because you have said we should go. When he spoke, it was many. But the response thereof is personalized in the thing. I, not we. The The person that we are going to talk about is Jesus Christ. And we are going to look without necessarily reading at Isaiah chapter 6. Then we are going to look at Ezekiel chapter 1. Then Revelation chapter 4. But our focus will be on the gospel. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Just to see how these four gospel writers respond to what the revelator says and what Ezekiel says and what Isaiah says. Now, Isaiah chapter 6, we remember the story. Israel is in trouble. Israel has forgotten who God is. Their focus was on earthly powers in the person of Uzziah. And, and that whom the Israelites trusted died and they lost all hope. Are we together? <laughs> Isaiah then says, all that I see around is hopeless. I need to see that is hopeful. And he goes to a particular place. And the Bible says he went to the temple. So just before we move from this phase, the first point that I wish we need to underscore when everything else gets dark, there is a place where there is light. And this place is this one. The temple where God is. Because when Isaiah approached the temple, seeking answers to questions he could not answer, he found the answer in the temple. For you saw the picture of God, high and exalted. So what I want to say is that the person that is sending you to go is not found among here. He is found there. A place where he sits as king of kings. Then we are moving from there, we go to the book of Ezekiel. Now Ezekiel chapter 1 verse 10 begins to describe the God Isaiah saw. He says he saw this God in four facets. Uh, 
symbolized by an eagle, symbolized by a lion, symbolized by an ox, and symbolized by the face of a man. Isaiah is describing the man, I mean, Ezekiel is describing the man he saw in the temple. I said, what did you see, the, 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 the images, the representations? The first one, second, third, fourth, then John picks it up. Chapter 4 of Revelation, verse 7. He repeats the same things, but he puts them differently. But he still makes mention of the four. What does he tell? What are they? Hallelujah. Then the gospel writers. Begin to say, ah, ah, ni, na, ni, bega, ga, bi. You are painting pictures. We are bringing forward images. Tina, we want to bring the person. Ah, yan, ga, ngi, vang, si, ten. Ni, kuluma, nge, ti, tfo, ombe. Ni, kuluma, nge, ti, loa, ne. Mi, nang, funa, gule, tsa, umundu. Uti Mateu. This lion, which Ezekiel saw, is the one we Jews call the lion of the tribe of Judah. Uti. He is the lion of the tribe of Judah who follows the Davidic dynasty. We talk about David as our king. But this one is the one that supersedes David. He is that lion. So Matthew brings a picture of Jesus as a lion. The language is the same with that of Ezekiel. The language is the same with that of, of Revelation. But he says, I am simplifying it. When you look at Jesus Christ, this that you need to know. In the jungle of life, where you hear sounds that inflict fear in you and these animals roar but there is a lion that roars and these other lions are silenced his name is Jesus so I'm saying Bazalwani Hey, <laughs> Life by its very nature is a jungle. It's a mbilo. It starts. It starts. It starts. It It Mateo Utsi. 
No maslan is in Lal. No maslan is a wagiliwa. No maslan is of Quenswa. No maslan is of Shiwa. No maslan is of Abilam Seven. These indeed are lions. Animals in the jungle. The jungle of life. The jungle of life. But there is a lion. When that lion roars, all these are other sounds. Zip. Atige Nagakuluma Mark. Mark Yes, he is the ox. I are going to Ipoho, ne ivi poho. Alright. Poho. Sina sitinga. In other words, Mark is saying. Here is someone. Who says whatever burden of life you pay. Don't worry. He will pull that burden for you. You need not worry about pulling these burdens because he's a, he's a burden bearer. So, Angati Gutsibue Gunam Twalo Mulona or if it will. Angati Guin Lok Supag and Gontwe. That which makes you restless by day and by night. Even as you are seated here, you still have a burden that you're carrying in your mind. You still have a burden that you carry in your heart. You still have a burden that you carry in your soul. Mark says, worry not. We have our own. We have our own. He is an ox. A, bo- a burden puller and a burden carrier. He takes people's burdens and makes them his own. Amen. So, Masiti, I will go. Mark says, don't worry. If you carry a burden of fear, take it to him. He will give you faith. You will make it. He's a burden what? Bearer. And a burden puller. Jesus is a caterpillar. Jesus is a caterpillar. Jesus is a caterpillar. Jesus is a caterpillar. Jesus is Jesus 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 and when I will walk on Tamak, he is our ox. He's our ox. When the owner picks up a yoke 
The cow that has been well trained does not need to be called to the yoke. It simply comes and the yoker puts the yoke on it because it is, it is a disciplined cow or ox. So I'm saying if we are really disciplined Christian or Adventists, when Jesus picks up the yoke of mission, you don't need an appeal. You simply come and we put the yoke on your neck and you go. So those that resist going out, it's an indication they are not trained you, ox. So you don't need a sermon. You don't need motivation. You just need the discipline of the mind. That when he calls, because he oversees everything, because I am, I am a disciplined cater, I will just bring my neck. He will put his yoke on my neck. And the two of us team up together. Mark is echoing what Matthew says. Come ye unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy burdens. Odani gimi. As she in the interest of time, as we go Ezekiel said, He saw an eagle, he saw an ox, he saw a lion. The other thing that he saw was, a, was man. Now, Luke says, I've heard what you say, Matthew. I've heard what you say, Mark. But when I look at Jesus Christ, the one who says I must go, he is a human being. I am There is no pain. There is no situation. There is no environment. No circumstance which we go through and he does not know. Amen. 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 Ask me. There is no human experience that I don't know because I experienced it personally. I went into my mother's womb. I understand the pain of a mother who is pregnant because as a baby, I myself experienced the challenges of being carried in the womb. Now, remember, remember Jesus Christ as a baby. Now, this is what our professor would say, Dr. Msosui. He would say, while Jesus was, carry, was carried by Mary, the very Mary, the mother, was carried by the baby Jesus Christ. I know. Jesus Christ uh, he says I was in my mother's womb. Oh, what an mixed, mixed. Uti Jesu, when my mother was carrying me in the aeroplane. That aeroplane was sustained by the very baby that was in the aeroplane. Amen. 
So Jesus Christ says, I understand the pain of a mother. I understand the pain of a baby. I even understand the threat to a baby. Because my mother almost aborted me. But she just resisted because of the power that I gave to my mother to say, wait a minute. You have a king in your womb. (laughs) Wait a minute. I'm saying to all of us ladies, at some point in life, while the aeroplane was fly, flying to land, there was some emotional pain, there was some emotional pain that you were going through. You've been told by doctors you will not make it. The pregnancy has exceeded the number of months. Forget it. But Jesus Christ said to the mother, at the right time, you will deliver me because I have powers that supersede human powers. So I'm saying we, we, we as human beings go through emotional pain, physical pain, social pain, ecclesiastical pain, economic pain, domestic pain, environmental pain, and we get so stressed. But Luke says, he's been there. He understands. He can take you out because he himself was able to be taken out through his reliance on the power of the Father. That is why theologians will tell you that at the Garden of Gethsemane, when Jesus had to sweat blood, the, the, the reason is that his blood vessels best because of the tension, emotional stress. I don't know what stress or stresses you're going through. What is it that makes you not pray sometimes? What is it that stops you from going out sometimes? What is it that stops you from socializing sometimes? What is it that stops you from going to a shop sometimes? Because there is no money in the house. How many times you've visited places where they say there are jobs? Only to be told not today. I don't know what stresses you are facing in your workplaces where they talk about retrenchment but that might occur at any time. Luke says, I understand that. John. John, remember the animals, the first one is what? The first one is what? Hallelujah. The second one is what? The third one is what? Then the fourth one is what? Eagle. John says that God is your eagle. Now, among other things, as character marks of an eagle. Is that an eagle? An eagle is the only animal that has the ability of seeing things beyond the eye or beyond the, the length 
We, we as human beings, when we begin to see and project our eyes, and we say, but the eyesight of an eagle goes beyond that. In other words, they say an eagle is a visionary. When we wrestle with things in the physical, it already understands what is happening in the physical, but it also understands what happens in the spiritual. Amen. So in other words, John says, we may think Jesus does not understand about the power of the powers of darkness. He does not only understand that, but he also understands how those powers have been defeated because he died on the cross to defeat those powers because he himself has power that supersedes the powers of the forces of darkness. That is why he was able on the, on, on river, on the, on the, on the um, Sea of Galilee. He was able to say to the wind, shut up. He was able to say, shut up. Now, the, 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 the way in which the Bible addresses that or explains that is that Jesus Christ was not necessarily speaking to the wind. He was speaking to the power behind the wind. The power that brought about the wind, the storm. So in other words, Jesus was addressing the devil. He says, the devil, you devil, I created the wind. I created the water. Now you are interfering with that which I created to destroy my image. These are my people. You will not destroy them. Then he says, Satan, shut up. Then he comes to the wind, I mean to the sea, and to the wind, and he says, be still. So he was addressing two things at the same time. Peace, Satan is be silent. I'm at work now. Then he comes to those things that the devil used. That's in the Be muzzled. So there is a difference between saying it, shut up. And saying, So that whatever he wanted to say, he can no longer say, because I've put a lock on his mouth. So what Jesus Christ was saying, Satan is shut up. I'm going to those things that you're using. I'm locking them into some prison. They will never bother my disciples again. And Mark Matthew says, the sea and the wind hushed. Hushed. 
What manner of men is this? Who addresses powers of darkness in the spiritual and addresses powers, physical powers, in the physical way. John says, remember, he is an eagle. The one who says, go, and your response is, I will go, is that kind of a person. He speaks to challenges which make noise to intimidate you or overwhelm you. And he says, if you are powerless, I am there for you. And he says, don't just look at me as somebody so detached and apart from you. I am right among you. I'm in your experience. In fact, I understand what you are going through. Then John says, by the way, he is the beginner of beginnings. He was in eternity past. He is in the present. He is in the eternity future. He is an eagle. He sees beyond that which you can see, you cannot see. I see John. If you don't believe it, go and ask Lazarus. Four days went past. Hope was gone. He came and he said to Lazarus, come forth. Such an experience had never been known. But the one that is power over every force of nature, including the force of death, is the one that John says. Mm-hmm. He is a God. That kind of a God who we as Adventists worship because the fourth commandment says in six days he created and finished all that needed to be finished. And on the seventh day he rested and called us up, and called upon us to come to him to rest in the power of such a God, so powerful that there is no other power that supersedes it. Hallelujah.